Taiwan's ITRI has a floating augmented reality touch screen system that would improve upon Minority Report technology, and it's ready to license it. The world portrayed by Tom Cruise and his slick, love-manipulated holographic operating system and Minority Report has been inching closer to reality for some time now, and, as the video below shows, it could come way ahead of schedule and be even cooler than Hollywood's original vision of the future. Taiwan's non-profit Industrial Technology Research Institute pointed me to the below demo of its new IR Touch IAT technology, which is essentially an augmented reality system that falls somewhere between the compact specs of Google Glass and the original, bulkier virtual reality systems of the 1990s. Unlike Google Glass, however, it doesn't rely primarily on voice commands. Instead, it projects a virtual touch-based interface in the user's field of vision that appears to float in the air and responds to being touched. Watch the video below for a better explanation. A picture is definitely worth a thousand words in this case. The potential here is not just the realization of that minority report system, which Leap Motion has already commercialized for the most part, but the marriage of such a system with wearable technology. In addition to consumer applications, IR Touch is suitable for medical applications such as endoscopic surgery and any industrial applications that benefit from hands-free input, said Golden Out, Deputy General Director of ITRI's Electronics and Opto Electronics Research Laboratories, in an email. According to ITRI, the secret sauce in IAD is the camera, which only activates when it detects a user's fingertip within a predetermined input distance range, roughly a foot away. In other words, it conserves battery power by only turning on when it detects that someone is trying to air touch the virtual input. Air touches are then sent to a host device, like a laptop or smartphone, that the headset is tethered to. IAD was officially introduced last week and will receive a 2013 R&D 100 award in November. ITRI says the technology is available now for licensing by mobile companies and anyone else. That means you, Google.